This is the plane many say helped the Allies win World War II. The B 17G Flying Fortress, restored to its original condition, lands in northeast Wisconsin today. The historic aircraft is at Jet Air in Green Bay this weekend. Those who served in World War II will get a chance to take the warplane up one more time. Tonight, video journalist Kyle Spolstra takes us inside this piece of flying history. The reason we fly it is to honor the veterans that served on it during World War II. Uh, without those men and the, service, the sacrifices that they made, uh, we wouldn't have the freedoms that we enjoy today. With our World War II veterans uh, going away at a rapid rate, uh, we give the chance to our World War II generation to come out and fly on board something like this again. And uh, for the younger generations uh, to experience what their fathers and grandfathers and great uncles uh, served on and went through to, to preserve our freedom. Last year we had some very interesting World War II veterans come out and tell their stories and become very emotional. And that's what it's all about is rewarding these people that, that made the, the sacrifices they did. The most surprising thing I think is uh, once you get inside the airplane's not as large as people think. Uh, Clark Gable made it look a lot bigger on TV. Uh, that and the fact that there's no armor plating, you know, or not too much armor plating on the airplane. Everybody thinks it's kind of like a flying tank, and uh, as a matter of fact, it's it's pretty thin aluminum. An impressive plane, the B-17 Aluminum Outcast, will be on display for ground tours Friday through Sunday from 2 to 5 p.m. The B-17 Flight Experience takes visitors into the air each day from 10 in the morning until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We have information on our website, NBC26.com.